If you're trying to figure out what the rent should be on your rental property, you're definitely going to want to try this. What is up, property leaders? I am former United States Army Sergeant Anthony Russell, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set rent on your rental properties. So if you're trying to set rent on your rental property, you know that one, you're in competition with your neighbors, and two, if you don't set it right, you could take huge losses. It can be difficult to know exactly what your rent should be. So today, I'm gonna help walk you through some steps to figure it out. Before we continue, if you would take a moment to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Also, check out my book, Leadership for Landlords, now available on Amazon. There's primarily three sites that I use to help figure out what my rent should be. Rentometer, Zillow, and Craigslist. Before you can use those sites though, you need to be confident about what your rental is and you need to be able to compare it to your neighbors. So we're gonna look at a few things. We're gonna look at how many bedrooms there are, how many bathrooms there are, and overall what condition the property's in. You're also gonna wanna know if you're gonna allow pets or smoking. Figuring out what your rent should be can seem daunting at first. It's really not that bad though. We're just gonna head over to Zillow or Craigslist now and put in the information that you gathered about your apartment. We're gonna look at the competition in the area and we're gonna see what our comparables are. It's important to be honest about the condition of your property. If your property isn't top end, then you're not gonna get a top end rent. You're gonna have people show up expecting a perfect apartment and they're gonna get something mid tier and they're gonna walk right out. It's a total waste of time. So be honest when picking the comparables. One thing I really like to do when I'm looking at comparables is I look at what my competition is offering or more specifically what they're not offering. Uh, this can really set you apart from your competition. You can look at things like on-site laundry or their pet policy and squeeze a few extra bucks out of your rental. Okay, now that we have a general idea what our rent should be, we're gonna head over to Rentometer and figure it out for sure. Rentometer is a great tool. It takes all the rent that people have been asking for in the area over the past 12 or 48 months, whatever you choose, and it'll give you an average amount based on your criteria. So you can put in your address, your rent, the amount of beds and baths you have, and it'll tell you what the average rent is. I found all three of these sites to be really accurate when setting rent, so I highly suggest you put it in your toolbox. It might surprise you that your rent didn't come out to be exactly what you thought, and if that's the case, it's okay. Don't stress over it. There's some things you can do to get your rent up, like doing repairs or enhancements on your property. You can also offer things that your competition isn't. Some other things to remember is when you set your rent, set it. Don't jockey it around over and over again. Set it, put your ad up, let people respond. When you do go to show your apartment to somebody, remember to be confident. Smile, wear something nice, don't dress like a scumbag. Also, something else that I see a lot of landlords forget is know your area. Know what's around your apartment. Know if there's parks there, know if it's a good area to walk, know where the bars are. Does your city host art festivals or music festivals? Where's the beach? Know these things and you'll be able to rent your apartment with confidence and have positive things to say. You'll definitely get more rent when you do this. And for the love of God, do not desperate rent. If you're confused about what desperate renting is, check out the link in the description. I did an entire video on desperate renting. All right, property leaders, you have the information you need now to go out there and set your rent appropriately. And if you get a little bit less than you wanted, it's okay. Remember, that tenant is not gonna be there for the rest of their life. You can always raise the rent when they leave. Okay, property leaders, get out into those buildings, find something to fix. Huh? If you'd like a copy of my book, Leadership for Landlords, check it out on Amazon, available now in paperback and ebook. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. All right, property leaders, get out on patrol, get into those buildings and find something to fix, huh?